and we're back with another edition of Gloves and Shoves, uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Resolution Edition. Uh, pretty stoked! I'm excited yeah. to bang out some bang up some objectives, some goals, and uh, look, get a get a little uh, workout under the belt. Start a game plan on how to actually you know get active. And in terms of you know goals for going forward, goals for 2021. Uh, things I'm looking to improve upon going forward. Um, I think one of the main things for me was, you know, just making sure that you have a strong grasp of fundamentals, uh, terminologies and, you know, basic poker concepts that I, I run through them and make sure that those are understood. And then sl slowly, you know, create the foundation so that we're able to learn a little bit more complicated things and a little bit more intricate things. Um, so going through things like pot odds, which, you know, is a little bit simpler yeah. to figure out, but, you know, implied odds, reverse implied odds, what do those mean? And using those sort of things to, you know, you know, once we learn this, then we'll learn why we do some of the things we do pre-flop and post-flop, and it becomes less of, you know, uh, you Dance just... And more. Yeah, that, and I would say it's also less of you just doing something because you were told and doing something because you understand and are yeah. able to, you know, pick, giving you the tools to be able to, as you're playing, learn as you go. You know, once we build these sort of foundations, work, start working into post-flop, you know? We talk a lot about pre-flop. Let's talk about post-flop. What do we do when and all these sort of, you know, flops, turns, rivers, stuff like that. And as well as um, uh, independent chip model, ICM, which is, um, you know, what happens when we, you know, we make it deep, we get to these final tables. What mm -hmm. do we do from there? Which, you know, final tables, tournament strategy vastly changes depending on how many chips you have, depending on you know, the chips of your opponents, depending on the prize pool, depending on how much and all that fun stuff. Um, those are, you know, as, as we progress, those will be some of our sh medium and long-term goals, but those will be what I'm be aiming for. And, you know, beat the pros. It's a bounty tournament. Uh, one of yep. the most important things is the, the bounties and the math that's behind it. Yeah, having uh, a better understanding of, you know, whenever you, you know, bounty tournaments, uh, how to react when you see your opponents are shorter, when you're shorter, um, and, you know, making sure that we understand what's going on when it comes to bounty tournaments. Um, yeah, I think, I, I think we've got a good grasp of, you know, the situation at hand, and I think uh, I'm prepared to be your mentor here in the poker realm. But... Take a peek at this guy with aces. And he saved 16 of the chips. July 3rd, 2021. Elias and I had our usual workout plus poker session, battling it out in the $210 Beat the Pros. We didn't intend to record footage. As the day progressed, we started to feel like something special was happening. So we began to capture footage on our phones. Today could be the day. Hey, we getting up there, bro. Let's go, Guinness. He's not sure if he does not know what to do. He, he's not sure if the, whether my hand and also whether or not to go all in. Oh. Bang! For the win. Boom! Oh. Big chips, big <laughs> stack. Yo, there's a theme today. Flopping sets, getting aces. Flopping sets, getting aces. All right. Fuck. <laughs> so anticlimactic. We raise it. You wanted me to do three, didn't you? Hurt you, didn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Woo! Woo! Tell him I'm excited. Yeah. Let's fucking go, bro. That's what I thought. Yeah. Oh my god! Victory! That is the cleanest here. Oh 
Okay, I'm gonna go back upstairs and cry. Okay, okay, we hear flush or nines. Nine! Ooh! Ooh, ba da ba ba! Just fuck off with Queen. Yes! Yes! I think we do it. All in it to win it, baby. I can't sit. <laughs> Come on. Don't be king. Yes! Oh. Yep. Hold. Yes! Holy Hold. fuck. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah! Get the fuck out of here. Yeah! We ain't going nowhere. Woo! We're not fucking leaving. We're not fucking leaving. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're we're approaching the final table, Elias. It's very important to remember that like our stack has like a, a value to it, mm -hmm. and every chip. Look at that fat stack. That massive stack has a value to it, and basically fat. from here on out, you want to be a little bit more tighter because every chip that you lose is worth more than every chip that you gain. So you don't want to play too wide. You don't want to play too many pots with weaker hands. You mm -hmm. kind of just want to sit snug. You know, wait for other people to get eliminated when you get a good opportunity to take them, but don't try to force anything, don't try to get super crazy, don't play crazy hands, just, you know, 
a lot of it, you know, if you're not ship leading is full, and if you get that ship lead, if you're able to cover people, then you apply the pressure. Yeah. But for now, we're like a middling stack, kind of like, kind of let things simmer. Let other people do it. Sim simmer! Ten left. Oh, let's go! I can't believe it. Who's in the final table? Who's in the final table? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go! Definitely ain't suited. Got a faded eight running hearts. No eight. Three chops at King Chops. I don't want to sweep that. And it's he, he, he's feeling, not us. Let's go! Yes! <laughs> yes! We're not fucking leaving! We're not fucking leaving! We're not fucking leaving! So you gotta throw your phone away. This is where the money's made. This is where we. This is where we. Uh, this is where we make the big bucks. So you gotta be laser focused, paying attention, <sighs> focus on every hand, playing every hand the absolute best. We're three left. You made it this far. It's what, insane. What's a couple more? What's a couple more eliminations? What's the difference between third and? Knocked first? out. I knocked out like the last uh, three people. Yeah, that's it. You just gotta get it done. Yeah, play your best. <clears throat> Whatever happens, happens. Focus. Fifteen seconds. Let's fucking get it. Big hour. Big hour. Elias battled his heart out but the Cinderella story came to an end just short of victory. When the dust settled, our hero finished third for almost $7,500. As a poker coach, I couldn't have been more proud of my student making a run so early in his poker journey. We're just getting started, and we ain't fucking leaving.